Hello, welcome to our YouTube channel. This is Dami and Ifi bringing you some real talk this week. And this week, babe, we're kind of going into some of our own stories. Yeah. And we're just discussing how having children um, changed our marriage and definitely any new marriages that's not planning to have children, just be ready for it. Yeah. Having children will change your marriage. It, it's inevitable. You're going from two people to three or maybe if you're blessed super blessed four if you get twins mm. and it's it will change your marriage now if it changes your marriage for good mm. or for worse is really down to you and your spouse yeah. but just be sure that having children mm -hmm. will change your marriage definitely definitely now for us really can you remember i mean it's almost six years ago now when we had our first child yes can <laughs> you remember know, some of the scenarios that we had? Oh yes, I can. I can remember <laughs> one. Oh yeah, what's up? <laughs> I can remember one when we um, gave birth to Arinte. I would say that because well, we just moved to Sweden yeah. then, so um, so you you had to work for had to go maternity for just oh, six yeah. weeks. Oh yeah, yeah, six weeks. So you had to go back to work. So during that time, it's like every time you came back from work, when you get back to work, it's like you were compensating for the like time. Like compensating. Oh, yes. Anyway, I, I felt neglected yeah. for like two to three months. Yeah, I, so, yeah. I remember yeah. we had one big conversation. Thank God it wasn't a fight, it was a big conversation. Yeah. Where I think the conversation started with something along the lines of everything, everything. I was there, I was there. <laughs> 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 That's kisses. <laughs> and I was like, what? And it went on to explain to me about how, of course, since we had our son, he's just simply got no attention and everything was a reason. The reason was getting all the kisses. <laughs> Imagine 50 to 1. <laughs> <laughs> 50 to 1. That I reason was getting all the kisses and basically all the affection and my time and everything. Basically, I was giving her such a cool my all, yeah. and I guess my husband wasn't getting any. So my work was <laughs> getting some, and my son, my son was getting the rest of it. But I thank God that we had that conversation because yeah. kind of it helped me to realize that I was about to create a problem in my marriage, yeah. and that helped us kind of re-navigate and we find ourselves if that makes sense mm -hmm. because really for me it was so difficult given our journey to get to the point of having our son yeah. i mean those who know us know of the tears and the traumas yeah. we had had multiple miscarriages so at that point mm -hmm. to have our residual was a blessing such mm -hmm. a miracle so i just felt like this was my heart walking around <laughs> um, well not walking around <laughs> being carried around in my body yeah. outside my body so therefore when I came home from work literally nobody could look at him let alone touch him I just <laughs> kind of <laughs> hugged him to myself and he was in our bed for a little while but after that conversation I think it was towards the third month of having yeah. again it highlighted that there was a problem and we quickly find the right teaching and the right tools yeah. to kind of rebalance and kind of refine our friendship yes, yes. and our connection and it's to kind of tip number one really there from what we've learned is that you've got to communicate yes oh, communication is, is big it is so yeah. important from my perspective i needed to communicate how i was feeling that of course i had the bomb guilt mm -hmm. um, from having to leave this newborn at home with mom and going back to work, mom and you, mm -hmm. and going back to work. So, in order to kind of deal with my mom guilt, I was overcompensated. Yeah. So I needed to be able to communicate that to you mm -hmm. that, look, this is our feeling, um, and you needed to help me through that. Mm -hmm. And you needed a safe space where you could say, well, I'm feeling like I'm neglected. Yeah. I'm feeling like I'm not seen. And all of the feelings, are is it 50 to 1 kisses? <laughs> you can kind of feel in the gap with the rest. <laughs> So you needed to be able to communicate that and I needed to listen right? and together we needed to do what it, what it took to kind of reconnect and 
partner, friendship. So tip number one is communication. You've got to vulnerably communicate to one another and just share your kind of where you are. If it's mom guilt, if it's feeling neglected, you've got to communicate and hear each other. You have to hear each other. And then you've got to work on the friendship. Because I think for us, um, how did we deal with that? I would say in, um, it's still part of communication because um, we already knew what we wanted um, mm. but when we started our marriage. Mm. So that friendship was really it important was to us. So going into the marriage, we knew that okay, friendship needs to, we need to understand each other. We need to get to um, a part of being a friend, you have to communicate. Absolutely. So um, we, we knew that and going into the marriage, we started working on it and mm. thank God for the community uh, that we had around us, um, the church, um, church friends, so church community that really helped us a lot. To kind of to, develop yes. how to build friendship with yeah. Woody, each other. Yeah. I think that is absolutely that would be our next tip really. Yeah. It would be that you've got to communicate whatever it is you're both feeling this post this new baby yeah. and then you've got to work on your friendships. And what do friendships, I mean, what do you do when you're friends with someone? You have fun, yeah. you spend time together, oh, yeah. you gist, mm -hmm. you relax with one or yeah. other. You, you do all those things. So just think of the things you will do with your friend and then think, okay, I've got to do all of that with my spouse. Mm -hmm. And I think what we started to do was just make the basic things part. Going grocery shopping, mm -hmm. we'd leave our son at home with mom and we'd yeah. go together mm -hmm. and just go grocery shopping. So we still didn't have extra time, mm -hmm. but we used the time that we had yeah. to kind of spend more time with each other and mm -hmm. connect and build friendship. And post baby, the truth is you don't feel like having sex. Well, communicate that with your husband oh, yeah. Yeah. and he hopefully would understand yeah. but that don't mean there still won't be intimacy no. you can still hold each other you can you don't have to have sex to no. have intimacy. intimacy doesn't mean sex absolutely it so you still have to you do have to connect so for us i think we just deliberately started to work on our friendship after that big conversation <laughs> it was just consciously reinvesting in our marriage yeah and kind of reconnecting and just doing what friends do yeah. um, together. So communicate, develop your friendship. Yes. And the third one really would be that when you start having kids, you've got to make your kind of... Prioritize each other. Oh, you took it right <laughs> out of my mouth. Yeah, that's it. You, you have to, you have to prioritize each other. You just have to refocus and think, okay, this child that you're giving your hope to, and that was a realization I came to, is not my heart walking around, he's like, his own person mm -hmm. that the Lord has designed for a purpose, which means he's going to go off mm -hmm. to achieve that purpose, and that's going to be left with me in my head. So therefore, <laughs> <laughs> if I do now reparatorize this one, mm -hmm. who committed to a forever with me, mm -hmm. the son that I'm giving my hope to is going to leave. He will leave because I want him to leave. Yeah. We spoke about leaving and cleaving last time. Mm -hmm. I want him to leave and cleave to his wife, which means if I don't reinvest in this, then I'm going to be in trouble in the future. Oh, yes. So the top tip is you've got to do all you can yes. to prioritize mm -hmm. one another. You have to prioritize your relationship because those children, as much as they change your body, they change your relationship and they can change it for good because my experience is that our children have changed our relationship for good. Oh, yes. yeah. They've pushed us to walk in such a tag team manner <laughs> that I don't even think that was possible. I mean, it's, it's tag team. Yeah. And it's, it's working together in yeah. unity. Yeah. It's discovering God in new ways. Mm -hmm. It's praying and crying out to God in new ways okay. that I even than I thought was possible. Yeah. So I would say having children has done good for us. Oh, yes. it's, it's changed our marriage in a good way. Yeah, good way yeah. um, but we do have stories. We have many, many stories yeah. um, where having kids have changed marriages, unfortunately, negatively. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Do you have any of such stories that you want to share? I would say it's it's still the same thing. They were not, um, you know, when they not 
prioritizing each other. Mm. So we see that wife comes back from work, or husband comes back from work, they're too tired, you know, you don't prioritize, you do what you have to do with children, but then before you know it, you're tired, you're going to bed. Mm. No, you don't share, you don't have time for each other. Mm. So those are the kind of stories that you, you hear all the time mm. and it's and when you hear it, it's like, okay, it's before you know it. Over time. Um, yeah, over time. You, 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 must, you almost definitely see a problem coming. Yeah, you it's, can kind <laughs> of sense the deterioration. Yes, I yes. think the one thing that in talking to, in speaking to, prioritizing each other yeah. was that Arunze, as soon as he could stand up in his bed and attend to find that cart where mm -hmm. he might have run. Oh, yes. And I think that was about one. nine. Was it yeah, nine months? Just, yeah. No, one year. It was one, yeah, just, just before his first birthday. Yeah. So just before his first birthday, we had him out of our bedroom yeah. into his homeroom. Tobena was even earlier than her first nine birthday. Months. <laughs> yeah, so Tobena was the nine months. <laughs> Tobena was out of our bedroom by yeah. nine months. Yeah. Just so that they can go and start developing that sense of independence so that we can focus on one another yeah, yeah. Um, and just have that space mm -hmm. to focus on one another. So. Just our encouragement really mm -hmm. is that you've got to communicate whatever the issues are and talk through it and listen to one another and then find solutions together for it. Mm -hmm. You've got to develop your friendship. Yes. Do all the things that friends do. Mm -hmm. Friends laugh together, friends go to the cinema, friends mm -hmm. go shopping together, friends go for coffee. Mm -hmm. Do all the things that friends do. Mm -hmm. And you do have to prioritize your marriage. Mm -hmm. So to just kind of finish this up really, um, our encouragement to you is going to be that you do all you can to develop your marriage mm -hmm. because really the best gift you can give your children mm -hmm. is the gift of a healthy loving marriage mm -hmm. so that they themselves can grow up yeah. um, and be healthy yeah. right yeah because the more you don't um, do things together mm -hmm. the more you grow apart Absolutely, so, yeah. absolutely. So therefore, really, you've got to do all you can, you and your spouse, to do everything you need to do together as a unity, as as a as a unit, rather in unity, yeah. your marriage is priority. Being a mom or being a dad is not a priority. Yes, they are beautiful responsibilities that God has given to us, but being a wife and being a husband is the it's number one is the first priority so let's just encourage you to go out there and prioritize your man prioritize your woman and just let those kids know that you love them but they are not your number one priority this one right here mm -hmm. has got to be my number one priority same here you are <laughs> <laughs> because they're gonna go and leave and cleave to oh, their yeah. wives and their husbands we're so we're gonna here together Oh, amen. <laughs> amen. Yeah. So if you like our content, um, please click like, click subscribe, and leave any comments for us if there is any kind of content you'd like us to produce. Yeah. Um, please give us ideas of what you'd like us to do, what you'd like to see. Um, we'll be happy to kind of take those comments and the suggestions um, on board. So please share this content if you like it, and remain blessed.